What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today we are reviewing a pair of sunglasses, but they're not just any ordinary pair, right? No, today we got the Bose Frames Tenor sunglasses that has built-in speakers on both sides so you can listen to music in style. Pretty cool, right? Well, today I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I'm gonna tell you all the great features about these sunglasses, but I'm definitely gonna dive into some of those downfalls. So make sure you watch this video from beginning to end so you can gather all the information that you need before making that final decision on buying this product. Do not go anywhere guys we will be right back what's up guys welcome back to the channel vibe Nick it's me Nick Desjardins and if you guys are not subscribed yet feel free to hit that subscribe and like button below and in the comment section let me know what kind of products you guys want to see for the future all right guys I appreciate it let's get to it so we got the glasses here. It's a nylon frame with a glossy look to it, which I think makes it look nice and pristine. And on both sides of the temple, you have your speakers, which makes it an open ear audio, also known as the speakers just don't touch your ear. Seems cool, right? Well, there's definitely a downside to that, so we'll get there in just a second. So at first glance, it seems pretty awesome, right? Well, when you get closer, you can tell the plastic is kind of cheap, and you feel like if you drop it once, it's just gonna shatter everywhere. And maybe Bose was going for that just to make it feel lighter so when it's on your face you just can't feel anything and also when you get closer you can see all the seams and where all these pieces come together so for $250 I shouldn't be noticing any of that and going back to the speakers which is an open ear audio that means everyone can hear your music it's not like airpods or headphones where it's only you hearing it if you're out in public everybody's going to listen so it might not be the best decision to wear these around everyone all right enough of the downsides on this product let's jump into some of the good so first off what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the Bose app and once you get in you're gonna click on this product and then you're gonna pair it so what you're gonna do is go on the right side underneath you're gonna click the button and it's gonna turn on and then once it's trying to pair there you hold that button again until it turns blue and it should pair now all you got to do is put your sunglasses on pick a song and you can start playing music but it gets better than that so on the right side if you want to turn up your volume or turn it down all you got to do is slide up and if you want to turn it down, you just slide down. And then if you want to change a song, talk to Siri, or just call somebody, all you have to do is double tap right here and Siri will come on. So you can say, Siri, change the song or Siri, call somebody, and you can actually have a conversation with these. I think those features might just make up for some of those downfalls. So talking about the battery, it comes with a little wire right here. And all you have to do is plug it in. It connects like a magnet on the right side of your glasses. And then obviously into your wall and it takes about an hour to charge and it says it lasts about five five and a half hours and i'd say that's pretty accurate or if you want to charge it for a half hour you should get about two two and a half hours and even if it dies you still have sunglasses right so it's a win-win so a big question is is when do you wear these and i came up with a couple ideas on where you could and the first one is the beach that's the biggest one overall usually it's windy you can put these on and nobody else is going to hear your music number two would be golfing you know you're outdoors and you're not around many people so that would be a good place three would be at a park if you're going for a walk or just hanging out and then four would be maybe if you're just hanging out in your backyard by the pool or tanning if you guys can think of anywhere else you can wear these put it down in the comment section I'd love to know but those four things are the only things I could really think of so one are these sunglasses a replacement for headphones absolutely not one because headphones are meant for you to listen to music and you only and these everyone else can hear and two is the sound quality really up to par it is good, you're gonna like it when you have them on. But since we're talking about Bose, which is a high quality type of brand, I kind of expected a little bit more out of them. And three, is the pricing really worth it? I'm kind of on the edge right now. I wish it was more like 100, maybe $150, but $250 seems like way too much. But guys, I'm not completely knocking these sunglasses down, okay? Every product has downfalls, right? And if you look at these, if you don't like this style, you can go online and you can see the altos, sopranos, and many more different types of styles. Also, you can get different types of lenses like blues and yellows, so you don't have to stick to this exact kind. But that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you guys are thinking about buying this, hopefully this helped you out just a little bit. That is all, guys. I'll see you next Thursday. Have a good one.